The Crown may have won the Golden Globe and endless other prizes for best drama during the year. But it's actually a high-class soap, the classiest on television. The Return of the Crown on Season 2 begins in February 1957 and Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh are bickering as bitterly as Den and Angie in their heyday, and much more enjoyably than Mick Carter and L ever do. Peter Morgan's dialogue has the same crystal clarity as its heroine, played superbly by Claire Foy. All right, snipes back the Duke, the equally impressive, unrecognizable Matt Smith. Who goes first? Stupid question. I've learned one thing by now, it's that I go second. Single quote. If I am to go first that's where I'd start. She begins graciously, before adding, rather less graciously, with your complaining. It's incessant, whining and whinging like a child. Single quote. He feels he is treated like an infant by the god-awful mustaches that run the palace. She responds that he behaves like one. And why do you think that was? He splutters. Because you sent me away. Single quote. I don't know Elizabeth. You tell me. Single quote. Phil and Sharon. Ian and Jane. Lauren and Josh watch and learn. It's like the Walford we always wanted. Passionate. Personal. And much. Much. Better dressed and better looking. Of course. The fact that this is the Queen of England and her husband gives it another deeper dimension. Prison. Prince Philip Carps. They're only available. Exit route. She explains. Is divorce. No. He accepts quietly. Finally. You're asking my price. He concludes. Cutting to the chase. Like an elegant, intelligent member of the Mitchell clan. What follows is equally gripping. Glamorous and delivered with universal quality. The situation in Suez coincides with the start of their own CR. This is one of the aspects of The Crown that makes it such a rich drama for writer Peter Morgan.